Right now on CBS 2 News at 5, L.A. County's controversial D.A. responds after an effort to kick him out of office fails for a second time. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Vaughn. Well, the effort to recall L.A.'s top prosecutor falling short by tens of thousands of signatures. But organizers of the recall effort say they haven't thrown in the towel, at least not yet. CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen is live in downtown L.A. with a look at what happened and what both sides of the issue are saying. Jeff? So, Pat and Jeff, as you mentioned, for the second time, the recall effort against L.A. County District Attorney George Gascon has failed. The registrar's office says that it rejected it because there were simply not enough valid signatures. Last month, the campaign to recall L.A. County D.A. George Gascon delivered a truckload of signatures to the registrar's office. That group said it had gathered 717,000 signatures to be verified. But on Monday, the registrar's office said that there were not enough valid signatures. Gascon says he's very happy, but he's not ignoring people who signed the recall petition. While the recall itself was fueled, mostly by people that were pursuing things for their own personal interests, monetary and political. The majority of the people that signed that petition did that because they believed that I was creating insecurity in their community. And, and to those people, not only do I want to reach out to them, I will continue. I never stop reaching out. Uh, you know, my obligation is to be the district attorney for everyone. I got elected by a, by a very large majority. Opponents have criticized Gascon for issuing a series of directives that include a rule against seeking the death penalty, not charging juveniles as adults, and limiting the filing of enhancement charges. Gascon says crime is up across the country, not just L.A. County. And he adds there have been misconceptions when it comes to the bail schedule, which is set by the courts, not the DA's office. A lot of people are, are hurting. Uh, you know, we have crime problems all over this nation. We've had a spike of crime in our county, um, which I'm very concerned about. Registrar's office says more than 566,000 signatures were required for a recall, but about 520,000 were valid. In addition, more than 195,000 were invalid. Of that, more than 88,000 were not registered voters. We're told there were more than 43,000 duplicate signatures and about 32,000 with a different address. We spoke to one of the co-chairs of the recall campaign. By the way, almost 200,000 uh, signatures are invalidated for one reason or another. That bears further scrutiny, and we're going to give it further scrutiny. And the recall campaign says that it will have a team to go over all of the signatures that were declared invalid. They have 21 days to do so before they can go to court. We're live in downtown Los Angeles. Jeff Nguyen, CBS 2 News.